New details on the affair that has brought down the head of the CIA. The decorated and celebrated four-star general David Petraeus, once considered a possible presidential candidate. This all started with an FBI investigation into emails between Petraeus and his biographer, a woman named Paula Broadwell. And so we start this morning with our senior justice correspondent, Pierre Thomas, who's in Washington. Pierre, good morning. Good morning, Nan. The, the nation's keeper of secrets was keeping a scandalous one of his own. And just like that, an affair taints a storied military career and life of service to country. The resignation of the CIA director stunned a city not easily shocked. One of the country's most respected and disciplined public officials left office admitting an indiscretion. In a statement to CIA employees, Petraeus acknowledged an affair and what he called extremely poor judgment. Such behavior is unacceptable, the statement said, both as a husband and as a leader of an organization such as ours. On Thursday, Petraeus went to the White House to turn in his resignation, the same place he has so frequently been called on to serve. It was a great privilege to serve there with our young men and women. The affair was discovered by the FBI after concerns about inappropriate emails associated with Petraeus surfaced. The focus of the probe turned to Petraeus' biographer, Paula Broadwell. We would do a lot of interviews on runs. For him, I think it was right. a good distraction from the war. Petraeus had been the public face of two wars, one of the architects of the successful surge in Iraq, which helped bring the war there to an end. From Iraq to Afghanistan, then a call to head the CIA. Are you ready to come back? Ready for the CIA? Well, I feel very fortunate to have been provided such an opportunity to continue to, to serve and to contribute, uh, if confirmed. As he took over the CIA, Holly, his wife of 37 years, stood by his side as she had done so many times before. The two had met at West Point. She was from a long line of Army royalty. Her great-great-grandfather fought in the Civil War. Her own father was a retired four-star general. The president praised the director's dedication and patriotism and said his thoughts and prayers are with Dave and Holly Petraeus, who has done so much to help military families through her own work. Now it's the Petraeus family that faces the strain of a deeply personal failure. But the nation's top spy has to be above reproach. He had to go. Such a revelation was simply devastating. Bianna? So many people still stunned. All right, Pierre, thank you. Well, now to the woman at the center of the scandal, biographer Paula Broadwell. It was the FBI's investigation into her that ultimately led to the downfall of David Petraeus. Broadwell had been very public about what was described as an unusually close relationship with the general. And now sources familiar with the investigation tell ABC News that at some point, that relationship turned into an affair. Like Petraeus, Broadwell also had an impressive background and now a reputation in shambles. Our coverage continues with ABC's Rena Ninen in Washington. Washington. Good morning, Rena. Good morning, Bianna. They are both known as overachievers. While Paula Broadwell was making the rounds with the media for her gushing 400-page biography of the four-star general, she's not the only one that the FBI is eager to more, learn more about their relationship. Paula Broadwell, lifelong overachiever since high school in North Dakota, where she was valedictorian and homecoming queen, went on to receive honors for academics and leadership at West Point, and was ranked number one overall in fitness in her class. She spent some time in the black ops, got a degree from Harvard, and later became biographer to David Petraeus. You ever feel like he dropped his guard with you? No, no dirty secrets. During a book tour earlier this year to promote that biography, Broadwell spoke about her access to Petraeus, taping many of the interviews for her book while running six minute miles with the general. To, to, to get to know him, he wanted to run with you. I thought I'd test him, but he was gonna test me. But that was the foundation of our <laughs> relationship. That relationship now placing the highly accomplished 40-year-old mother of two in the center of a CIA scandal. You seem to have a, I don't know if special relationship is the right word, but he, he's taken a liking to you. On WFAE radio, she was careful to protect a reputation now tarnished. He, I think, you know, he was concerned a little bit about his legacy mm -hmm. as a leader in that position probably naturally would be. And he was excited to have someone who he could trust. Married to radiologist Dr. Scott Broadwell, the Ironman triathlete seemed as disciplined about her marriage as she is about her fitness. You can do it, come on, we're the troopers. Is this how arguments are settled in your house by any chance? Every time. All right, so I don't, I don't win much. 
Broadwell's 40th birthday was yesterday. She has 15 years of military service under her belt.